what he says in this 10th chapter. Yes, yes. I am come. That's all he has to say. Because when his presence shows up, it doesn't matter what the limp is around. It's got to go. It's got to go. Sickness has to go. Poverty has to go. Depression has to go. Whatever is in the midst of his God's people, when Jesus shows up, everything has to step back. Got to step back. I, you know, I, I was still thinking, I don't know whether I'm going to preach or teach or preach, see what I'm going to do. But the fact is, he was father, Louis Osborne was father all along. But that little imp didn't know he was father. You understand? See, sometimes the, the, you see, the devil is crazy. That got no sense. And you just running from him and scared of him and acting like you don't know what to do when he comes around. And Jesus said, I am coming. The little boy, the little boy in the Sunday school class was being asked what he learned from the teacher in Sunday school. And he said, what I learned was the disciples were in this boat. And the, every, they were all scared. And, and Jesus said, How come y'all scared? They're not with you. <laughs> I can say, I am coming. Don't worry about the voice. I'm just God still. I am coming. When he comes, everything is going to be all right. I was sick one time many years ago. And I, uh, I couldn't see, you know, sometimes you can't see yourself well. You, you can't, you know, you know, you can't visualize how this thing is going to end. Whether it's going to get worse or, you know, how it's going to end. And I didn't happen to look up during that time. I was in the bed, couldn't get up. And I saw this angel in the bed. And I looked up, I wasn't asleep. I looked up and I saw the angel. And I said, what are you doing here? And my husband thought I was delirious. I said, no, it's an angel right there. <laughs> he couldn't see it. But I saw him. And I asked the angel, what are you doing here? And the angel said, I've been here all the time. And so, but I would pop his head that I know we got the victory now. Oh, yeah. He forgot about that delirious thing. But if I saw an angel, he's not in it. It's okay. And I'm not just thinking of the times that God has come yes. and showed himself yes. great yes. in behalf of those of us who fear him. Yes. And that's all you have to do. Oh. If you know your God, In God. Yes. So it's not trust in chariots, not trust in horses, but we will remember the name of our God. Yes. What's his name? Yes. What's his name? Yes. 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 His name is Jesus, yes. the Messiah, the healer, the deliverer. Oh, yeah. He's all the gift of love. Oh, he, he knows how to make ways for us. He knows how to stretch us. He said, you know, there's a, a young man, well, I don't know how young he is, but an individual. They were driving in a car. I told you we had heard this story. Because there was nobody, but it's a true story. They, was, they were driving, and they, there was a car coming straight toward them in their lane. And they looked up and saw there were three of them. And they said, he said, the, the man said, he had heard that before they started on the trip, that you were going to be in a head-on collision. And he said, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. And so he said, and he looked 
and he saw this thing swing in there. And heard the same thing. And this car, when they saw it, the driver said, Oh my God, it's a car. And he said, Our lady. And all three of them said, Jesus. Just like that. Whether you believe it or not, the car that was in their lady, they, after they said Jesus, they looked and the car was behind them. Depending on 
if we don't work that way. Some of us might turn 25. <laughs>
Well, I guess, yeah, it's over 4 million people in the state of Oregon. Million. Well, again, 4 million. It's about 7 million in Washington. Right across the river. Started on that. Through Seattle and so forth and so on. So God needed somebody. I had some scriptures I wanted to read. I don't think we're going to get to them, but it's okay. There are, there are billions of people in the world. Amen. But there's only a few ministers of the gospel that are preaching the gospel. What is the gospel? Good news of Jesus Christ. The gospel is good news. Right. The gospel is not a whole lot of do's and don'ts. Because what you do and don't will negate what God came to do. That's right. You're not here in the church to be told what you can't do. Somebody said, well, is it a sin to do that? If you have to ask me if it's a sin, then you better not do it. <laughs> 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 if you have to ask, is it wrong? Yeah, it must be. <laughs> But he came because he needed somebody. Lord, I mean, I'm going to help this get this across for before it gets to the room. They all, all this comes to be wrong. I mean, if you want to eat lunch, Lord, you know about all that. Okay. He sent you here, but because he, he figured he had a vessel that he could use to go tell that brother that couldn't even sweet. I mean, I'll just use that person. He's got somebody here that he's brought through some fiery trials and tribulation, and he wants you here so you can say, don't do that. The scripture says he knows the way that I take. And after I have been tried, I will come forth as pure gold. So he sent you in your family so that you could be an example to show people what they should not do. Oh my God. I started out talking about this over 4 million people in, in Oregon. So he didn't send you here to pastor this church because he sent me. And today, no work. That's right. 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 Weird. Amen. 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 So until he tells me to sit down, or he sits me down, I will keep moving along. But, but he's got a job for you to do that just as great or maybe greater than what I'm doing. That's right. for somebody necessarily to take my place. Because, you know, I, I told the folks, you know, I, I, there's our sister that He's supposed to be assisting me. <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm laughing because for a while he was doing all my driving. But after he moved out of the boondocks, <laughs> So, I mean, but that's fine. That, that's not the point I'm trying to make. But he's got a job that's even different than what mine is. You understand what I'm saying? So he's got to work out his salvation. It's not that he's replacing me, but he's simply because I can't do the job by myself. You understand? And that's why you, 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 and all of y'all sitting here, you, you guys are here to complete the job right. that God has placed in this area. That's right. That's right. I'm back to my four million. How many of these four million people are you going to connect with? Four million. We, we, have, a, we have approximately 125 people on our own here at church. Approximately somewhere. But that's not meeting the need for the people 
people that are in the radius of a mile of this church. You understand what I'm saying? So who are you going to connect with that you tell them about Jesus and what he's done for you and what he can do for them? If you can't get up and jump for one minute, You 
got your ear plugs, but no, what do you, what do you, how, how you hear through the ear plugs? MP, what? MP3 or, yeah, your phone. Oh my God. Y'all got your Facebook. Instead of facing the book. <laughs> But this is my Facebook right here. You know, and, and, and the world is so slick. You, you open up your, you, you think you open up your Bible on, on, on the, your computer, on your phone, and then all this other junk will pop up. You might want to skip the book. If the book comes, you know, be down on a rabbit trail trying to find out what Megan is doing. What is Megan doing? I mean, I don't care what they're doing. They can have all the babies they want to have. They can have no food. Is Megan going to raise this baby on a vegan diet? But 
Jesus came to bring life. That's what I want you to know tonight, this evening, abundant life. Now, you, I'm going to do one more scripture. Good. No. You don't have to read it, but this is in the book of Acts. There was a, a man that was paralyzed. And he came here and John were going up to prayer at the hour of prayer, which was the time. Three o'clock, okay. Three o'clock in the afternoon. That was their prayer time. And they had prayer early because they didn't have lights, street lights like we do. You travel at night time. So, I mean, I'm saying that's why, I don't know why, but three o'clock was their prayer hour. But they were going up to the temple to pray. And the scriptures talks about the fact that people had been coming and they had been coming every day and laying this man at the gate where they were going up to pray. Now I'm trying to figure out, they were going, this man, you, you, you're going to have to read a little bit of this. I mean, Y'all give me another 10 minutes I'm going to get out of here. Read, read this a little bit. This is Acts 3. And read about it in heaven. Now Peter and John mm -hmm. went up Now, this man was lame from his mother's womb. In other words, he was paralyzed. Something happened that the enemy caused him to be lame, and he could not walk, and his mother's womb breathed. Every day, 
that the God chose me. I always talk about my family. I always talk about it. Thank you. 